welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you some activities that you can do with your kids during general conference to help them not only listen, but to even get something out of it. So let's get started. So for those of you who don't know about general conference, here's the quick run through. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints every six months holds a meeting for all its members worldwide. That means millions of me members gather together either through watching general conference on their TV, listening to it on the radio, etc. And we listen to modern day prophets and apostles speak and it is a two day thing, Saturday and Sunday. Um, if you want to know more, I will put in some links below on mormon.org and lds.org. Okay. So these activities my friend told me about and I just thought they were wonderful and I got her permission to make a video and share them with you because I just thought they were brilliant. So thank you so much, Allie, for sharing these ideas with me and allowing me to share them with you. So the materials that you need are, you can use skewers or popsicle sticks, brown paper bags, tape, and scissors along with some candy. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is these little bags right here. Now, just so you know, I have free printables um, that I'm going to put in a link below for an open document that you can just print these off and cut them out. So during general conference, I'm going to have these bags, and in these bags, I'm going to fill them with candy. Now each time my kids, now my kids are like three and under, if they hear the word Jesus, they can pick one candy out of the Jesus bag. Or if they hear the word prayer or scriptures, they can do the same. So this really helps them because then they want to listen and hear for those words, which actually sort of makes them listen to the whole talk. Now you don't have to do it for just younger kids, you could do it for uh, maybe your um, older children or just anything, but I thought that was a great idea. So Easter's around, I got some Easter candy, I'm going to fill those bags and voila! So for my second activity, I'm going to have all pictures of the First Presidency and the Corman 12 up on the wall. And each time, now my kids don't know how to read, so I'm just going to do pictures. So this is President Nelson right here. And when President Nelson speaks, they get to pick a tie and they get to put it on them. And so by the end of conference, all of the apostles and prophets will have a tie on them. So it makes them pay attention say, okay, who's um, speaking next? So I thought this was a really great idea as well. My third idea is these flowers and trains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the flowers in one vase and the other vase that's empty. And after each talk, um, we're going to talk to our kids and say, what was that talk about? And let's see if it was prayer. So we're going to take a flower, write prayer on it, and put it in the vase. And soon we'll have a whole vase full of flowers. Now, I have lots of girls, but I figured that um, boys as well. So I did a little train and the little train is behind them. So you can either put it on a string and with each talk you can just add one and um, throughout the conference you maybe can see the theme. So I thought that was great. So I have all these printables that you can print off um, for general conference to help your kids um, be more attentive. Um, it involves treats, it involves recognizing the apostles and prophets, and I just thought it was a great idea. So those are some ideas for you. Um, give me some feedback and comment below ideas that you do for your kids to help them listen through general conference. Also, thank you so much, Allie, again, for letting me share these ideas with everyone else, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to subscribe below for more content coming your way.